Let's face it, we're all looking forward to the zombie apocalypse just so we can dress like Joel from The Last of Us. It is what it is. What's up, Thrifters? My name's Luke from Archon Woods, pre-owned menswear and vintage watch store. Uh, a few days back, I did a little video about how people are obsessed with Joel's jacket from The Last of Us, which is, let's put it here. Thing, which is from Flint and Tinder. It's a flannel lined wax trucker jacket. It's 250 pounds. You can get it from hubbury.com. Hubbury is a sick website for like outdoorsy gear and I uh, highly recommend it. Really cool, um, really good aesthetics as well. Um, and yeah, for 250 quid, it's a kind of a reasonable jacket. And then that spiraled into how guys mostly want to dress like computer game heroes. Like for me, the reason, one of the reasons I got into menswear and dressing was to create a character mode, which I cared more about than the actual game itself. I'd spend hours creating a character that would be a first person thing that you'd never see anyway. But this doesn't just hold itself to computer games. This is more of a protagonist thing. So more of like a protagonist core way of dressing or for movie heroes and game characters and just any sort of like masculine, rough, ready, guy the way they dress seems to be kind of the same throughout movies games uh throughout the decades now i'm very aware this is like an americana sort of thing this is like a midwest i don't know i don't know where in america but kind of like very american rugged style um that i think we're appropriating for ourselves and to be honest i'm no different i look at i mean but there's a reason that it's a good look. There's a reason that uh, filmmakers and game makers have used this style over the years because it's kind of like the everyman look. It's just a guy who doesn't care overly about the way they dress, uh, but then there's a kind of like um, nonchalant way they look at it, probably from a guy that would never use the word nonchalant, but still, it's a fantastic look. It's one that we can all sort of take bits from. It's something I mix uh, all the time with other uh, other pieces. Like I wear this kind of denim shirt with uh, with some like high waisted pleated trousers. Um, and there's yeah, there's definitely things we can take from it. So I'm going to put a video of five things to think about when dressing like a protagonist. So the first and most important thing is the statement jacket. Now these will mostly be a crop jacket, something like a Harrington or Bomber. You'll see this with uh, Maverick, Top Gun. You'll see it with Ryan Reynolds in that film. I think Project Adam had a really good one. Uh, really cool, like rugged Harrington jacket. I use the word rugged a lot in this. Obviously we've got the jacket uh, from Joel, uh, which is a little bit longer, a little bit more of a wintry jacket. Um, but these will ultimately be the statement piece of the fit. With, whilst we've got, we've got Terminator 2 with the leather jacket. I mean, that's a little bit, extreme i would be very careful with like biker jackets in general uh, i'm not saying you shouldn't wear them but just in terms of uh overdoing it sometimes just going a little bit less um extravagant a little bit less showy is the way to go uh the other thing with this it's not just the jacket it's what goes underneath so you'll often see actors wear uh very clean white t-shirts navy t-shirts underneath no prints uh just a normal crew neck uh, or sometimes a henley uh, if it is a Henley, it'll be sort of tight to the body as well. So obviously you've got to consider your body shape for this, um, but they want to show off their muscles and often it'll be relatively tight. You saw this with the James Bond one, which uh, was in No Time To Die. You'll see the slim crew neck, long sleeve crew neck in, uh, what's the guy from the, Jim Halpert from The Office did an action thing. He was wearing something similar to that. You see it a lot, but the really important thing is if you're going to wear that statement piece as a jacket, Wear something clean and simple underneath. Uh, and also that goes with the jacket being rugged and patinaing well, because we wanna buy jackets that last a long time. So with really good materials, with be it canvas or leather or whatever it is, that's sometimes gonna wear, especially if you're using it for a bit of um, uh, rough and tumble. <laughs> whatever you're gonna use it for, having a clean t-shirt underneath is really important. So your whole look doesn't look scruffy. So for brands for this, uh, if it's like a Harrington jacket, very simple jacket to go for, it's just the, the Reese line. Um, they do countless versions of this. Obviously, I'd always advise go pre-owned, but you do you. Um, but they do many different versions of the same thing. It's They're re made relatively well. They're quite well fitted. 
Um, it's a good line to go for, especially for just like a simple Harrington. Um, another brand to think of, so there was one in Bond that everyone went nuts about, so this jacket, wax sort of jacket from Rogue Territory. Really cool. You can pick this up secondhand for around about, I'd say 150 pounds. Um, very cool, uh, very well made, and something that lasts you a really long time, even if it is pre-owned. Uh, then there's Carhartt as well, and Wrangler. So you can check out those ranges. Um, we've got a few in the store, so check out archerinwoods.com for that. So the second thing we're gonna look at is the sort of Western shirts, denim shirts, double patch pocket shirts. Um, anything that gives that sort of, it's, it's a Western style. You think of like Lethal Weapon, rigs in that. You've got uh, Joel in the actual game itself. There's a, a couple of sick uh, outfits he wears and there's a couple of in Last of Us, the HBO series. Um, Mel Gibson wears a lot of them in his real life, like in terms of showing how you can actually wear this out and about in public. Um, another one that comes to mind is this sort of loose flowy one that Matthew McConaughey wore in mud. Um, that was a really cool one, mixed with denim. Uh, again, this is all very Western style. Uh, double denim him up, so double denim him. Double denim him, double denim it up. Uh, so like Steve McQueen in some of his old films would have some really sick double denim in a really like, really uh, something I would wear today. Like the, the fit of it is just perfect. Then if we're thinking about computer games, there's one, the one that really sticks out to me, the way uh, the mix of like check shirts and like vests underneath. Um, and denim is Grand Theft Auto 5. Trevor and Michael would be able to wear these really sick sort of combinations of like check shirts, these amazing colors. Um, I think that's one of my favorite parts of the game when it's just like, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's, yeah. But that's me. Anyway, uh, and brands for this is, of course it's Levi's. Levi's are the main one. You can go vintage, you can go more modern. Um, Reese do do a few sort of like Czech sort of stuff uh, and also vintage. If you were to just search on eBay, vintage Czech shirts, uh, you'll find tons of stuff. So the third thing we're gonna look at is the hair and beard. This is crucial. Um, you can either, for me, it's either go super cropped and military and short or go long and loose, sort of apocalypse style. Um, the perfect person to look at for this is Tom Hardy and he's looked through the years and the films. So he's gone from basically skinhead, no, no hair, to skinhead to, with a beard and he looks good. So he's got that sort of like strong goatee beard with a bit of um, length around the side as well. So it sort of just forms down into a sort of triangle. I think of Kratos from God of War, another great beard. But then when he grows out as well, even when he keeps it short, he's got that sort of military buzz cut. Uh, when he wants to look a bit more slick and sleek when he's doing like a spy film, he's got a much more smarter look, uh, shaves down. Um, and then the longer hair, so he's got, sometimes he has it just like rough and ready loose and um, the beard long as well, he slicks it back. Um, so he's a good person to really have a look at if you're trying to get some inspiration for this kind of look and the hair to go along with it. So the fourth thing we're gonna look at, and it's one of the most crucial, is the boots. This first came into my mind so one of my favorite movies when I was a kid with Last Action Hero it comes out of his I think it must be a lucky Cadillac in my head with these sort of snake skin cowboy boots from memory since then I always look at boots within movies and they just go well with this whole sort of fit so other things to think of are sort of like Cuban Hill boots uh, our legacy do some really good ones of them Red Wings of course a classic uh, Brenton do some similar sort of red, red wing versions as well. You can pick up some good secondhand items from them for like 80 quid. Ryan Gosling wears some great uh, red wing sort of boot combos with his like denim and this whole sort of like look and aesthetic, that sort of dad core look. But yeah, that's they're, they're a good brand to go for for that. Boots are crucial. Um, having something with a little bit of heft at the bottom of your leg um, balances out the whole look at the top because if you've got like a big jacket on, you don't want to be going down to a little tiny slip of the shoe. Uh, so like Converse is a no-no for me. Having a big old chunky boot is a must. And lastly, tip number five, it's avoid cosplay. So this is the strong, this is the balance. So we're obviously taking inspirations from everywhere when we look to dress ourselves and get inspiration for, for looks, but we don't want to trust carbon copy someone's look. So we don't want to dress like like Arnie in Terminator 2, full biker leathers on, sunglasses on, because you just look like you're dressing for the character. So well, the best thing I personally do is just take little pieces uh, here and there. Don't go over the top with anything. Like if there's a if there's a very strong um, item, like the jacket, I'll keep the rest very simple and just understated. Um, accessories as well, I'll be very careful with accessories. So you, often with these movies, you'll see like a leather cuff um or, or sorry sort, sort of like a necklace or something 
try to steer clear if you're going for the full look because again you don't want to just look like someone trying too hard with this kind of thing it's meant to be understated take pieces out mix it with other items in your wardrobe like as i said before like i like wearing denim shirts with tailoring and uh, you can just pick out little pieces as well um consider your body shape is another one look these guys are movie stars of course they're in amazing shape don't look at them and then look at yourself and be like why am i not looking like like some sort of action here right it's just a bit of fun it's, we're all playing dress up in the, end of the day no matter what we're wearing if we're wearing something from movies or if we're dressing for work wearing a suit and pretending like we're james bond it's all a bit of fun we just want to enjoy what we're wearing express ourselves through our clothes uh, so yeah don't take it too seriously so yeah they're the five things i consider when i'm thinking about that sort of protagonist core it could be not under so many different names like a western look or dad core or it's just that um very masculine look including a lot of denim a lot of ruggedness um and, it, and it's a look that i love to to take bits from um let me know in the comments below if i've missed anything if there's any good looks that from protagonists that you've seen or even the baddies what the baddies they are the antagonists uh if there's any looks on the antagonists that you like as well or anyone on screen um, any brands as well drop a comment below check out our store archonwoods.com because we've got a few really good pieces that would lend themselves well to this please remember to like and subscribe because it helps me grow the store and the channel and uh, yeah look forward to hearing from you soon cheers